Hi, this is uh, your comic artist, Greg Land, right? Yep. Works nice with me. And now you're mostly well known for your work with, with Marvel, especially with, especially on the uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four and Uncanny X Men at the moment. A lot of your superhero work. But um, and then you previously worked with um, Sojourn, right? Yeah, Frosty. Right, on. Uh, just like, where did, where did you get your start in the industry? Like, what was your first pub? What was your uh, first The first thing I did was uh, for Sky Comics. It was a story called Storm Pigs, and I did two issues of that. And um, you, and then before you started with Sojourn, before you started working with CrossGen, you worked with uh, DC. Is that true? Yeah, I went from uh, Sky Comics to doing some stuff at uh, DC. And what was your what was your first book you did? The first thing I did for them was uh, un or. Um, Teen Titans Annual uh, back in '94. And was that like? And uh, what was your first ongoing? Because I know, obviously, uh, you, the you first grew, you got thing I got after that was a Nightwing miniseries. That was a four issue deal. And um, what's your history art? When did you when did you start? Um, when did you start drawing? When did you realize that this was what you wanted to do? Uh, pretty much back when I was a kid, five or six years old. And. Now the thing I noticed, you have a, a very photorealistic art style. Yes. Uh, what do you what do you do What do you do to achieve that? You know, what have you done to achieve that? I I look at a lot of reference. I you know clip stuff out of the paper, in magazines. So I've got a real big uh, clip file. Hmm. And what is your um, what is your favorite thing that you've done as a, as a comic artist? Uh, you know, you, generally speaking, it's it's you know the project you're currently working on. You know, because you're excited about yeah. about it. But you know, in the past, you know, I was, I, I've enjoyed the uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four. You know, especially with the introduction of the zombies. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that was really cool because that became a. I mean, you look at that, and that's become a huge thing. I mean, you look at uh, Arthur Sidium down there, and how that kind of how that kind of blew up with him and Robert Kirkman, Sean Phillips. Mm -hmm. Um, now, one last question is, if there's any particular book, is there any particular book that you look back on that as an artist that you wish you could redo? Something that you just wish you could do to uh, all together? You know, as I look at the early stuff from my career, I, you know, see a lot of things that, you know, would, I could do a lot better now. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, it's just a matter of, you know, as you go along in your, in your career, you know, you improve your drawing, your storytelling. And so sometimes when you look back at the early stuff, some of that stuff can make you yeah, and is there any advice that you would give to um, anyone trying to get in the comic book field now, especially young artists? Draw a lot, draw all the time, you know, draw from, uh, you know, life, still lifes, uh, portrait work, uh, you know, do all kinds of things. Because, uh, like, the more things you draw, the more you'll become adaptable to be able to put them in a comic book story. So it's pretty much just keep doing what you're doing, yep, don't just stop. keep drawing, don't get disappointed because, you know, it, it can happen, you know, uh, to be, uh, and get discouraged, you know, if you don't get picked up right away. Uh, but, you know, you just have to keep working. Okay. And we, before we bring this to a close, would you say that www.thegeekden.com is the website to check out for all things geeky, for movies, comic books, video games, and everything I else? I say it is. You and, should check it out. And what's that website? www.thegeekden.com. <laughs> the www. Thank you, Greg. Thanks right. for having me on.